Hey, I'm Pete with Moscow Moto, and in this video today, I'm gonna to talk about our ectotherm heated jacket, which I'm wearing right now. I've been on the road riding for about 10 days now into a 30 day trip, and this jacket, there's been a lot of rain and there's been a lot of cold temperatures, and this jacket has been really key, not just to getting through the experience, but to actually enjoying the riding. When we designed the ectotherm, what we did is we started by making kind of what we thought would be the ideal outdoor puffy to bring on a motorcycle trip. So we used a nice synthetic installation. We put DWR treatment on the outside. We picked a nice sturdy and stretchy, comfortable face fabric. And then we made this really awesome puffy. And then at the end, we added six carbon fiber heating elements to it to make the ectotherm. So we made it first a really nice outdoor puffy and then we made it a heated jacket for your motorcycle. The beauty of this setup is that this is really the single layer you can bring on pretty much any motorcycle trip is your insulating layer. Like I don't have any other insulating layers with me on this trip. You know you can wear it on the bike, you can wear it off the bike, on a hot day I stuff it in my bags, on a cold or wet day or a long stretch in driving rain I put it on, plug it in, turn on the heat and I just totally warm up. There isn't really any temperature scenario that the ectotherm is not going to accommodate. Pretty much as cold as you want to ride it'll keep you warm and you don't have to layer up with all this stuff underneath your shell. Also, you don't have to pack all those other layers too, which is great. The feeling of confidence that I get from the ectotherm when I'm on a long trip, I just know no matter what the weather dishes out or no matter how bad it gets, I'm going to get through it. I'm going to be comfortable. That's a really awesome feeling. It's great on a long trip where it's unpredictable weather or the trip is longer than the duration of the weather forecast you can view at home. If you have this in your bags, you know no matter what's coming down the road, you're going to be ready for it. So if you've used other heated jackets in the past, you know they're not really standalone jackets. They're more like liners. They use this really kind of a flimsy garment and its main purpose is just to suspend and contain the electrical components and the heating elements but if you don't have it plugged into the bike it doesn't really do anything and you're certainly not going to wear it around town or wear it off the bike it's really designed to be just worn as a liner inside of an outer shell and because of that when you're packing for a trip you got to pack a puffy and you got to pack the heated jacket both and then all a lot of times what happens is you're getting ready for the trip and you're like man do I really need to bring my heated jacket on this trip because you're you're trying to maximize the space in your bags and you're like gosh is it going to be cold enough am I going to need this is the weather going to turn bad sometimes you take it sometimes you don't you know if you take it you don't need it if you don't take it you're definitely going to need it and it's just kind of a dilemma and the ectotherm eliminates that dilemma because your puffy and your heated jacket are one garment and it comes with you on every trip pretty much no matter what the weather like I'll bring this with me unless it's like a midsummer trip and it's super warm the ectotherm's coming with me this jacket is so comfortable and warm that if it wasn't for the little controller which feels like kind of a key fob in the hand pocket you wouldn't even know it was a heated jacket and certainly nobody looking at it would know it's a heated jacket it's super comfortable I rolled up I use it as a pillow at night um, if I'm not wearing it and sometimes if it's a really cold night I actually put this on and crawl in my sleeping bag with it and it just keeps me really toasty so the insulation we chose for the ectotherm is a synthetic insulation it's a primaloft gold with aerogel which is just a really awesome insulating technology and synthetic insulation has a couple of um, main benefits over down which is the reason we chose it the first is that you know, when you're wearing the ectotherm especially Especially if it's really cold out you're going to want to put this under your armor you can wear it over your armor or under your armor but on a really cold day you're going to want to put it under because that makes a big difference in terms of how much it heats so you're wearing it under your armor and then you've got your armor and then you've got your jacket and then you have all the wind pressure as you're riding down the road pushing on the outside of the jacket so there's a lot of compression happening that wants to compress the insulation and as you know, may know from your sleeping bag when down gets compressed it doesn't insulate that's why there's such an issue staying warm on your underside when you're laying on the ground because you're compressing all the down out of a sleeping bag and it doesn't really insulate well you have kind of the same phenomenon under under armor and under wind pressure on the outside of a jacket your insulating layers are being compressed and so we wanted to choose an insulation that performed better under those um, in those circumstances and synthetic insulation just works much better for that and then the second reason is that if it gets wet synthetic insulation will continue to insulate whereas down of course wets out loses its loft and doesn't insulate at all so those are the reasons we chose synthetic for this you know we definitely considered down but this Primalov Gold that with the Aerogel is really, really cool stuff and it works awesome. This jacket definitely um, keeps you quite a bit warmer than you'd guess based on the thickness of it. We still, of course, wanted it to be able to compress relatively small to fit in your bags. Connecting the ectotherm to your bike is really easy. I, I'm on a rental bike on this trip and you know I just pop the seat off Red goes to positive, black goes to negative, and that's it, it's connected. So there's no technical issues with getting this thing set up on a new bike. And uh, at home, I have several bikes and I just have a harness on each one of the bikes. So I can just take my ectotherm and use it on any of them on any trip. In general, I'd say from about the coldest I'd ever wanna ride up to say 55 degrees Fahrenheit, 
I have this jacket plugged in from maybe 55 to 70, I'm just wearing it, but it's not plugged in, or maybe it's plugged in, but it's not on. And then above 70, it's rolled up, stashed away, packed in my bags. A really typical scenario is actually if I get up in the morning and I'm gonna start early, I have the ectotherm plugged in, and then as the temperatures warm up, I sort of turn off the power, but keep it on. And then when it really gets warm and I don't need any insulation at all, I take it off and stash it. And then I do the opposite of that in the evening. Um, especially if I'm riding after dark. Something we get asked about a lot with the ectotherm is why we didn't include connectors for heated gloves in the sleeves and why we didn't include a connector for heated pants at the bottom. And the reason is that for this jacket, we really wanted to design kind of a travel jacket. So this isn't necessarily the heated jacket for someone who's like a dedicated cold weather rider or a commuter. Um, it wants to use heated gloves, wants to use heated pants. This isn't the jacket for that. And so we didn't want to put the connectors in there because that actually clutters up the jacket and makes it a little bit less comfortable to wear off the bike. You're just always super aware of all the wiring running through the jacket. With Ectotherm, we wanted to make that as kind of transparent or invisible as possible. So you can sort of forget that it's a heated jacket when you don't have it plugged into the bike. And for most travel scenarios, you're not gonna bring heated gloves and heated pants because they take up too much space when you're not wearing them. And then the relatively few moments when you're gonna wear them, it's just not worth it for taking up the extra space. Most travelers can kind of get by with heated grips and a heated jacket, and that's good for most normal riding conditions. Now in the future, we may introduce another jacket that has connectors. I don't know, it's definitely on the design table being talked about, but that's not this jacket. This jacket is designed as a travel jacket and, um, and it's not really designed to be used in conjunction with those other heated elements. So obviously I'm a huge fan of this kit. Uh, it's been awesome on this trip. It's been awesome on every trip. I bring this with me, like I said, pretty much on every trip I go on these days, unless it's a midsummer trip and I just know the temperatures are gonna be warm and dry the whole time. It's an awesome kit. If you have any questions about it, please send us a note. We'd be happy to answer them for you or leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.